it's recording. Okay. 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 No, no, no. <laughs> this is Mike. Show me how to operate this little thing. On our way to Skull Lake. This is my new toy. Trail boss. Hey Mike, look at my new toy. Hey, look at that. Yeah, that's Mike. He gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Look. There's Dodie over there. And John. Well, good morning. It's day seven. We just got all loaded up. We're ready to go. We're headed to Skull Lake. And then we're gonna camp there tonight and ride up over Wasaki Pass tomorrow. So if you look at the string ahead of me, these guys are all ready to go. We're headed out. Life's pretty good right now. Had bacon this morning, biscuits. Everything's going good. Okay, so my last one, we're having such a good time. We thought the time was flying by. Actually, today's Friday and it's day six, not day seven. So pardon us for making that mistake, but it, I wasn't alone. There was plenty of us that made it. So forgive us. Well, now that we finally figured out what day it is, let's talk about what happened yesterday. Our plan was to ride up through the Cirque of the Towers to Bear Lake. As you saw in yesterday's video, that plan just did not happen. The one thing I've learned about riding in the wilderness is you better be able to adapt. An entire week of plans could change in a matter of minutes. A trail blockage on day three of our trip changed all of our plans. Instead of going to Dad's Lake, we ended up at Meek's Lake. With yesterday's route change, we ended up going back to Meek's Lake. Today, we're headed to Skull Lake. In order for us to do that, we'll have to ride right past Dad's Lake. And then... We basically are riding part of our planned route in reverse. But the good thing is, in beautiful country like this, it doesn't matter what direction you're riding. The views are fantastic no matter which direction you look.
Might be rain. Well, there's a nice fish. Christen the, the camp. camp.